by Rob from AST here. So I wanted to take a second and answer a question that came through via Facebook. And anyone who's been checking out our site has probably seen this. There's been a lot of comments. But uh, a parent actually asked, why is it so hard to find ABA services for teens? And we start to answer the question, and you know, there's there's a few different reasons why, but in a nutshell, teens are harder. It's it's just like it's harder to raise a teen as a parent. It's harder to work with a teen as a ABA therapist. Uh, some of our teens are a little aggressive, and from a behavior management standpoint, that can be difficult. Um, also, we're dealing with some issues that aren't are not always warm and fuzzy, but puberty and girls and socialization when there's a whole nother degree of peer pressure. All of these things are hard and they're hard for every kid and for our kids with autism they become doubly hard and the people who are providing the therapy need to have some extra support and some extra experience. So for you if you have a child with autism and who is in their teenage years some things I would recommend doing are when you talk to your ABA provider um, ask some specific questions. What is the program going to look like? The program can't be the same as an early intervention or even a, a child in elementary school. An ABA program for a teen needs to have a lot more interaction in the community. There needs to be a lot more emphasis on socialization and a lot more emphasis on independent living. And I truly emphasize independent living. Not me as a therapist standing over the teenager's shoulder with a task analysis making sure they're doing everything, but are they showering every day? Are, do they have a hygiene routine that they're implementing every day? You know, again, with puberty, hygiene takes on a whole new meaning for a 15-year-old compared to a 5-year-old. And are they doing these things when I, an ABA therapist, am not around, when it's just you, the parents, or their siblings? Are these independent living skills really happening then? That's what we really mean by independence here. Uh, the community piece is a big piece. I know Dr. Gerhardt spoke about it on our radio show, and that's so critical. We gotta get out, get into the community, socialize with people in our community, truly become a member of the community and not just kind of living in the community. The other thing is talk to your provider about their experience working with teenagers. Uh, I know there's not a ton of ABA out, people out there who work exclusively with teens, but there's a lot of people like me who have spent years working with teenagers. I spent the first uh, three years of my ABA career just working with teenagers and young adults. So there's a lot of folks like me out there who can talk to you about our experiences. And it doesn't always have to just be ABA, but maybe it's experiences working with teens in other settings. Because a big part of it is how you relate to a teen. Again, I can't talk to a 15-year-old the same way that I talk to a 5-year-old. A big part of what we have to do as part of ABA is get that buy-in, get the teenager excited. And it's a whole different set of strategies to get that teenager excited about the ABA program. And the last thing I'd ask is, will your teen be incorporated and included in some of the therapy? What I mean by that is, when I design a program for a teenager, it's not just me coming up with every idea and then running it by you, the parent. I actually include the teen in the program design, in developing the program. And I think you want your ABA provider to do that too. The teenager needs to have so much more choice and say in what's going on. Because again, they're not going to buy in. Uh, buying is a lot harder for a teenager on anything, let alone ABA therapy. So I hope these tips are helpful. We're hoping to give you guys a lot more resources. This seems to be a really hot topic on our Facebook page. I want to come back with some more blogs about just services for teens and young adults. So check back in. I hope to give you some more information. Go to our website, autismtherapies.com, our Facebook page. Or if you have questions, give us a ring, 866-278-1520. Later, guys.